Okay, I'll share my screen. Uh, please confirm my screen is visible or not. Yeah, it's visible. Okay, so yesterday we have created some basic steps of test cases, right? That uh, one test case have that normal uh, JS operation I've added over here and then that basic test cases I have added over here. So it's the output of that test case is normally we are getting the output in the console over here, right? But if we want to get this output as a HTML format, same thing, it's different file format, then how should we achieve that? That is one, one case. Another is uh, your some hooks also be introduced after this case. So how uh, the, that hook should be working over there. So before uh, uh, starting, the hooks I will add that uh, scenario where you can create that HTML file, different file you can create. So for that we have to do one thing to so install. I'm going to test this test one. And npm install npm install. So that is the module or you can say the plugins that we have to add over here. npm install save the just HTML decoder. So what it will does, it will do your all component what is rendered inside the console. It will create one HTML file for that. And it will print that same thing in a human readable format. Here you can understood, but the uh, scenario uh, of the written that is not good. So we are creating another HTML file over there. Run, run it. Just HTML reporter, okay. It will take some time for installation. So you can see that plus just HTML decoder 3.5.0 is added. You can go over there, check in the package session. So earlier it was showing this, and now this line is added in the empty building, the highlighted line, right? This line is added. But only this thing, if I'll do and run the test, it will not work. We have to configure something.
and provide provide bring the path of node module. So I have to find from the node modules JS HTML reporter should be there, right? Uh, JS JS yeah. This path you have to provide it. HTML and adding one page title. Page from HTML page. Let's run the test case again. Pull up all the window. Let's see what happens. Not add anything, right? I think I add in the wrong place. Let's bring it. Working on
created by only reporters that takes uh, reporters, not reporter. And then you can see the test case file on different file is created, right? And this is the header. What I've added in that page title and one HTML page, the boilerplate has been added. You need not, need not to create any HTML reporter uh, by yourself. You can create this package, okay? Now, on us today. Hello. Yes, yes sir. So please. Uh, hello. How can I understand? So it will create the page, right? Different page you will get it. So here uh, it's a human readable, and you also understand that how many test cases are passed. Same thing you can add in the React also. So the, it will be added over this one. But in the coverage, what is the test coverage? You cannot understand, right? From that uh, console. But whatever is coming in the console, you cannot understand that what is the test coverage. So for that, you have to add one thing. Coverage on the list. You can see coverage input. The console is something different is coming, right? This console where only one file that is all showing 100% test coverage is there. So, in real case, we have to create this test coverage, the collect coverage part of the okay? So, if you true, it will return the value. Same thing. So right now I have one test case, so it's showing one. If you have multiple test cases, it's showing one by one. Any question? Hello? No, sir. Others? Hello? No, sir. So you know this concept or uh, is new you have to add it over here. Hello. Paul. Paul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so you uh, before here you know this concept. This cover it. Uh, no, sir. Yeah. This library is uh, like new for me, but I have written that like for the what you have uh, the syntax is npm install hyphen hyphen save dev. And um, no, yes, that uh, the creation that file I have added that you know, right? Sorry, sir, you are not audible. Uh, I'm they're asking that uh, these things is uh, already you have applied in your project, this kind of things, or not. Sir, only I got a ticket about the uh, test case writing in that uh, this was not used, but I have some bit like a little idea, so I'm getting it. This is yeah. the normal without React, okay? Yes, I have not written anything. The node based module, how you can write test cases. So tomorrow, you have to create the same thing, not math calculator. You have to create different items over there, okay? Different test case, but 
follow this thing and create one test case, okay? So before coming towards demo, you have to create all the things by your own. And one more thing that is the hooks concept. I have to see. All our life cycle hooks. Before all, another is your after all. Other before each after each four is uh, this is all hooks. Okay, it means you are working in the React, so you can see that component did mount and component did update. This type of hooks are there, right? You can get the value over there. So before all, before each, and after all, after each. These four hooks is whenever you, uh, uh, right? You are working in an Axios project, right? You are working in an Axios project where you are getting the value from Axios, getting the data from the Axios server. Okay. So after creation, creating the Axios test cases, you have to clear something. So where you have to clear the value that mock you have to create some mock and mock you have to clear so you have to clear in the after each call so it will all generated means whenever i run the test case so automatically it will run okay these test cases so you have assigned one value over there so you can update the value inside the before all call before all hooks so these all hooks are essential I will write control dot log. Take one variable over there.
see that this test bed the before all these proofs automatically called right and console log that is how, how many times before all called one times So before all one time before each two times so each function that means every iterating time it will call okay and before all and after all it will call only one time so it will you can if you take one any value in inside that your test case and you want to detach so you can use that also and before each means before going to iterate the object, this hook will be useful. So this for all four rules. Before each and after each, these hooks are executed before and after each test in the test suite. So it only one time before each and after each. Right? That should be before each, before all, after all, after each. It will execute only one time. Before entering. into the test suite. Okay. And before or after all, these hooks are executed just uh, once for each test suite. If a test suite has 10 tests, so these hooks will just be executed one for every test case execution. So I have how many test cases? One, two, three, five, five test cases. So every five times it will be added over there. After all, also the same thing. So before all these hooks. And execute it just once for each suite. If a test as Five test cases. Then these two will just be executed once for every test. Execution. Should I? Questions? 
flow. So this is it, like the life cycle of uh, hooks in React, no? It is not life in the test case. Uh -huh. not React. Yes. Test. Yes, sweet, right? I'm not using any React syntax over here. Okay, it's it's coming from JS, all the things, okay? Means it's a node environment. I'm not adding JS, uh, React or Angular or anything. No, no, I'm just asking in React uh, lifecycle hooks. Uh, like that, this is working in testing, no? Before each, uh, before life all. Lifecycle hooks in the React component and lifecycle hooks in the unit test case, both are different. Okay, yeah. there is no meaning, but this is this all hooks will be executed means before each. So when my test case execution, that time you need some value. Okay, you need you want some value, you want to import something, so you can do inside that function. Okay, and after test means if any value you assign and you want to detach the value, right? You have add the set time or something, right? So you want to set time out detach unsubscribe that time after it before all 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 time it will be ending. how many test cases there so that many time it will be added okay okay i explain that you can create one test case by your own and perform this this thing, whatever i have applied in this script It's complete all uh, these things. So tomorrow we can please try at least uh, some test case written. Okay, and that to be these kind of things I've added. Try to implement these things. Now this first test case is completed. You can see the coverage report also. XML file. It will created internally this file. So it will create the ID and how many times the test case is running the line. It will also be there. You can see the path. This is the path. In that path, my JS is there, math calculator JS, right? And it will be run. Also it will export in the JSON format. So schema has all value has been generated. Line number, column number, it will be added over here in the path. So you need no need to add anything. You have to just mention your collect coverage. If it will be true, it will generate one file, coverage file, okay, inside the folder. And then this test case will be like. You see, the report also be added. Everything is different. Whatever I have written into that case. Okay, so it's done. Next is that we have to create one React environment. Same way we have to create that environment of Node, and we are going to create one environment as React environment and try to run some test cases inside that environment one by one the folder can anybody tell me what is the command to run the react indicate the react anybody how to create new app react app create react app and pick create react app. npm create react app and app map name react app, app. Yeah, uh, 
and app name, space app name, project name. So, yeah, it's basically yes. for you. So, Varsal app player. Are you Varsal? Okay. It will take some time for creating the reactor inside the test. Eating, fine. No, 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 So it will take some time and then we will going to add the test case.
think it will take or more than five minutes. What I mean? What do you mean? React script installed, React DOM. Let me change some version for the opposite version and then install it. Testing library we have this term. Okay, all are edit. Yes, I think I done. So I'm going to open. So we can see that files are there, right? App, CSS, app, JS, app, test, setup, JS. So setup, test, dot, JS. This is your configuration file. Global configuration file. By default, JS is installed with React. Okay. In game, have to configure. Going to run. 
normal file. Any global settings like the import multiple times, you can means I have five J test file, right? But we have to re uh, require this file import. So instead of import multiple files, we return the import inside that setup test.js. So globally, it will be control other components, other test cases. start yeah. first page is coming you all know that that is your first component the header whatever is there right it is now by default one a test is also written that how you can taste that takes this text is there, right? Add the describe method. We can test it is what is there in my team. How we can get the details. So we have to import the app. Right? Create one test case, but first we create the HTML. And I is not test case, but we have to import here. This is your attribute.
eligible somehow. So if I write the test case for this particular application that it will increment or decrement the value and also get the current value from that HTML. So you have to write the test case, right? I'm going to app test.js. Create some function. One thing I have to change in the That's my gene seventeen. Yes, from twenty. Yes, four. And the dependencies I will add two things on the engine part. They will add over there. And and run it. Love it. The project versions.
at that engine auto button Okay, so global setting is done. Look to order the test case for that application I will write. Okay. Any questions? Anything? Other you can stop the session. Hello. Yes. Uh, we can add enzyme using NPM also, no? NPM I. See, oh, one minute. I just. I am sharing the screen. So I have added the dependency over there inside that, right? Yes. To npm install enzyme, you can also do that. Or you can add the configuration and also npm i. So that, that will also work. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow I will write the test case with enzyme and gist and that is your global configuration where I added all the things. Okay. Okay. If no question, then we can stop the session. Okay. Okay. Then bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.